Throughout the testing and rollout of the Aotearoa New Zealand National Paediatric Early Warning System, PEWS, it was found that blood pressure was often not measured. This video provides education on accurate blood pressure measurement in acutely unwell children and aims to support staff to routinely measure blood pressure. It is important to know a child's blood pressure because when a child is sick, changes in the body can occur that result in either a high or low blood pressure, even if the child looks relatively well. Causes of a high blood pressure can be pain, heart and cardiovascular defects, kidney, hormonal and metabolic conditions, and changes in body habitus such as obesity. Low blood pressure can indicate a medical emergency, resulting from conditions such as dehydration, blood loss, sepsis, and allergic reactions. Before placing the cuff on the patient, check that your machine is set to the appropriate neonatal, paediatric, or adult setting. This ensures the cuff does not cause unnecessary discomfort by being overinflated. It is important to use the right sized cuff. The best way to do this is to measure the arm with a measuring tape and match with the corresponding range on the cuff. Ensure the cuff width is at least 40% of the circumference of the limb. Ensure the cuff bladder length covers 80 to 100% of the circumference of the limb. Ensure the cuff is placed correctly. A cuff that is too large gives a false low reading and a cuff that is too small gives a false high reading. Remember to note down the cuff used in either the child's care plan or on the chart itself. Using the same cuff size for future measurements means the blood pressures will be comparable. Make sure the arm is at the level of the heart by placing either a pillow or child's soft toy under their arm. Placement should be on the right upper arm. Try to avoid using the calf because it gives higher readings in infants and children. There will be times, however, due to injury, medical lines and surgery, when the calf needs to be used, or when more than one limb is used to check for a blood pressure difference between them. If a measurement cannot be obtained because the child isn't comfortable, try repositioning them on their caregiver's knee so they feel more relaxed. Another way of reducing discomfort is to take a manual blood pressure as the cuff can be more easily controlled and inflated to just over the estimated systolic measurement. Some clinicians say you only need to take blood pressure on some children and not others, but when research was done to look at the vital signs that predict the need for a child to go to intensive care, the sensitivity and specificity of the paediatric early warning scores improved when systolic blood pressure was added. That is why it became part of the Pew scoring system. What is more important though than taking a single blood pressure is the changes over time. Subtle changes in blood pressure can be seen as part of a trend before a dramatic drop in blood pressure in conditions such as sepsis. So even if a child looks well, it is important to look at blood pressure trends and take note if the blood pressure is rising or falling. Make sure there is an appropriate range of blood pressure cuffs available from neonate through to large, long adult cuffs. The process is the same if taking blood pressure on an infant or toddler. If the baby is unsettled, try getting their caregiver to feed them or distract them while you try again. If possible, the child should be relaxed, not talking or moving. Encourage staff and whānau to help with distraction techniques. If necessary, come back to the child when they are more settled. Remember, a blood pressure reading in an acutely unwell child contributes to recognising deterioration as well as supporting diagnosis. To gain accurate readings, clinicians need to ensure children are positioned correctly and are as relaxed as possible. It is very important to use the correct cuff size and placement. Electronic machines need to be set to paediatric settings. The best way to gain confidence in taking a child's blood pressure is to make it part of your everyday practice.